Hey everyone, it's time for the big reveal. Today we're going to cover what to expect when buying a one euro home in Musumeli, Italy. Yeah, I know it's been a long time coming and I want to show you all the details. But for this video, we're going to be clear on the how to and move on to the check this out in future videos. Just stick around, would ya? By the end of the video, you will see what is in store for you when going down the path of an investment in a one euro home. This video is for educational purposes, so I neither encourage nor shame the idea of purchasing one of these properties. With the caveat that it isn't an investment for everyone. In order to accomplish this, you're going to need a very unique set of skills. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. No, no, not those kind of skills, but thanks, Liam. Uh, I mean that it'll take vision, patience, and an adventurous persona to see a project like this through to the end. So what's the process? What's the process? Let's break it down into five steps. Step one, you're going to start by contacting the community of Musameli. Your request will be curated by a very accomplished, very accomplished group of locals that were organized due to their linguistic prowess and go-to attitude. Step two, choose a property, which at the moment of this video, there were just over 20 options to choose from. The community is open to new sellers joining the initiative, so the examples that I share in this video today may or may not be available, but others are sure to take their place. Step three, submit a proposal with details about how and when you intend to renovate the property, keeping in mind the standards established by the city. Whereas these one euro homes are an integral part of the historical center of town. So step four, follow the advice from the before mentioned real estate agents to complete the transaction. Step five, renovate. Step six and a bonus step, finally start enjoying your new Musamelian villa in this historical center of the town. Now it sounds simple, right? With, with the guidance of the community real estate agency, it really is, but there are things to consider before buying. Um, first, let's talk about your intentions for the property. What are these intentions? When considering a one euro home, it's best to think long term, I think. The community is open to any type of investor, but encourages you to make Musumeli your new home or at least your home away from home. Think about the frequency in which you will use the property and how you will maintain it over time. If this is going to be a vacation home, consider organizing it as an Airbnb with support from local talent. Okay, next, let's talk about the community itself. In order to be a part of the community here on this channel, <laughs> make sure to subscribe and give this video a big like. Oh wait, I know. That's not the community I was referring to, I'm sorry. But, you know, still. Musumeli is nested on top of a high peak overlooking a pic picturesque valley. The historical center is tightly woven with stone-laid streets. The locals are relaxed and friendly. There are many skilled workers to help you on the construction project if you choose not to tackle some or all of the projects yourself. The community has about seven high schools based on different future professions which act as the base for other surrounding villages. There is a castle which draws a sizable amount of tourists each year due to its beauty and architectural wonder. It's huge. Finally, let's talk about the costs. Being a one euro home doesn't mean you'll have a livable space in Sicily for pocket change. The sellers are, of these properties are motivated to sell for a symbolic amount of one euro due to each property's need for renovation. But aside from said renovation, the process of making this your residential or holiday home has a number of costs attached that are typical to real estate transactions in Italy. Each portion goes to a different professional of the community in order to boost the economy and improve the standard of living for everyone. A few of the costs are as follows. Okay, any number I list here is potentially variable and needs to be verified with the community itself. I wanna show them to you so you understand that everything is being done within procedure and there are no tricks or gimmicks. 
involved in the process. This, the secretarial fee, this is the fee that is paid to your real estate agent, which was said to be a 490 euros. There's a notary fee, just like a title company, a notary has the responsibility to transfer the deeds and guarantee the process. This cost is entirely based on the property percentage-wise, property purchased, and I will leave it at that. The APE, which stands for Attestato di Prestazione Energetica. <laughs> this document is required for all real estate in order to declare its level of energy efficiency, which is determined by an engineer or architect with this proficiency. The cost is approximately 150 euros. IMU and TARI. Typical taxes based on the type of property and residency situation, more like property taxes. Cadastro plan fee. This is based on the number of rooms in the property and can easily increase the closing costs based on the layout of the property. If I'm not mistaken, this fee is nearly 500 euros per room. My Italian isn't perfect. Definitely verify these costs. Centro storico. I believe they mention a cost tied to living in the historical center of town which has its merits, but everything has a cost, albeit a low one of 50 euros. A surety bond to, to guarantee construction moves forward, you are asked to deposit 5,000 euros that will be returned upon project completion. You have up to three years to complete it, but the sooner you finish, the sooner you get your money back. I believe that's all the fees involved, which are always done within the guidelines of the law. It will definitely be clear to you what you are paying for before payment is made. If I get some clarification on these topics as I am considering this investment option further, I'll be sure to update you in the future videos. I had a great experience meeting and working with the professionals from Immobiliare Siciliana Real Estate Agency and have a good idea of which property fits my interest. I look forward to sharing it with you in upcoming videos as we cover other cities like Camerata, Bivona, and Sambuca of Sicily. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well as like this video if you haven't already done so. And until next time, thanks for all your support. I love you guys. Okay, we are at uh, one of the houses on the regular market here. I, want, I asked for one with like a view of the valley. And while I was up here, I was noticing these uh, boxes here. There's two, three on each house. Some of them are pretty old. Some of them are newer. And apparently uh, here in Sicily, they have water accessible like every other day, every other two days. And so the houses have to have a system to um, to reserve water for its intended use for the days where the water is not accessible. And it's understandable, apparently that's kind of the thing here in, in Sicily and everybody has become used to it enough that they have prepared systems for that. The house itself here has an older system for, for example, the ter this terrace, but it has an, a newer system downstairs in the, in the storage, in the garage space in order to service the house. This was a property, a one euro property that was sold. Um, apparently they've already started construction on it. They moved the window to the side slightly.